Aloha and welcome back to Live at the Legislature. I'm the new Hawaii State Senate Communications Director, Jesse Broder Van Dyke, and this is a very exciting episode of Live at the Legislature because it's the first time we're broadcasting live on all the neighbor islands, on Akaku, on Maui, on Ho'ike, on Kauai, and on Naleo, Hawaii. And to start our season off, we have the Senate Majority Leader, Jay Kalani English, who represents Maui County, including Hana, East and Upper Ma East and uh, Upcountry Maui, Molokai, Lanai, and Kaholawe. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So tomorrow's the first day of the session, and I understand this afternoon we're planning a big press conference to roll out a new package. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Well, without giving away the whole package, I mean, basically we've been working very closely with the with the House and with the executive um, on trying to tackle some of the big issues uh, facing Hawaii. For example, uh, homelessness, um, uh, income disparities, and things like that. So this afternoon at 2, we'll be rolling out that package. What's unique about this is that, um, you know, I think one of the rare times we have a general agreement between the House, the Senate, and the executive. So you have the two bodies on the legislative side saying we must tackle these issues, and then the executive saying we'll work closely with you to implement the, uh, the outcomes. The other unique aspect is we've been working very closely with the private sector. So the for-profit businesses as well as the nonprofits in putting this together. Um, I want to stress that this is the beginning point. You know, the the bills will be rolled out, and um, it's it's the beginning of the discussion. The hearing process, and as it goes through, will be the sounding board with the public, and I'm sure the bills will change as it goes through committee. Is there anything in particular we can look towards? I understand housing and education are some of the parts. Yeah, you know, uh, we have invested literally a few hundred million dollars in housing over the last few years. Um, what we're realizing it's not just the dollars, but also things like infrastructure, uh, things like availability of land, um, income. You know, people need to have an income to, in order to pay a basic mortgage, basic living. So these issues will be addressed as well. Uh, one of the overarching themes, I think, at least for the Senate, is, uh, of course, climate change, right? I mean, we're, we, we just came out of a series yesterday and the day before and over the weekend of some very bad storms. So I live in Hana, the East Maui, and uh, in a little village called Hamoa. Um, you know, my road was literally about a foot underwater because it's right next to the ocean. Um, my, my ocean side property was three feet underwater almost 90% of the property covered. So, you know, we're in the middle of a imminent, um, we're, we're in the middle of climate change. It's not a future event, it's right now. Take a look around the state, you know, and the most famous road falling into the water recently is in Haula, but on Molokai on the east side of the island, I have a stretch of road that if that falls in, it's about 10 feet left, the whole east side of Molokai is isolated. Um, going to Lahaina, roads falling into the, the ocean, on the big island, on Kauai. So uh, we would like to deal with climate change issues, um, deal with the very hard issue of what they, the nice term is called planned retreat. It really means how do we begin moving critical infrastructure inland and out of, um, out of danger. How, how do we start doing that? Yes, well, you see, so we did all the easy stuff, right? We have the aspirational, um, you know, let's have renewable energy by a certain year, let's do these other things. Now the hard part. Uh, we have the studies, we know the, we, the Climate Change Commission has come out with uh, their predictions of when certain areas will be inundated, like Waikiki, like downtown Honolulu, um, and now the very hard part of how do we move, let's say, a power plant or a wastewater treatment system that's on the coast. Because, you know, uh, I know the numbers have been revised, but we're looking at a window of within 10 to 15 years for a lot of these places to be inundated. That's going to be one of the issues that we look at, at least in the Senate this year. And you just came out with your 2020 Senate legislative yes. program, uh, which includes some of the United Nations sustainability goals. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so you know, the Senate has adopted um, all 17 of the UN uh, sustainable development goals. It's a global effort. So every country in the world, uh, except for South Sudan, because, well, they have some governance issues, but uh, hopefully they'll adopt them soon, um, have adopted these goals. We've localized the goals, and, you know, to use a, a big term, we've, we've made them ours. 
Um, so what we do is we ask each senator to give me their top two priorities, issues that they're hearing in their districts. We put that in a grid, and then all the senators sit down, and we look at that grid, and we come up where the clusters are. You know, what are the things that rise to the surface? And then from that, we link them to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The reason you do that is that we can now speak to the rest of the world with the same basis, right? We have all the measurables, outcomes, all the measurements, all the metrics. And then we localize it. So for example, you know, we took eight of this year the 17 that we'll focus on um, and you know for example um, number 10 which is reduced inequalities we will work diligently to promote social economic and political growth and for for all by increasing the minimum wage requiring paid family leave and creating a retirement savings program these are very very local issues that we have been dealing with over the last few years we've tied them to the sustainable development goals number 10 and um, all of our committees and all of our committee chairs will be working towards this goal. You know, we also took things like um, number three, good health and well-being. We will ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at every age by improving access to quality health care, including mental and behavioral health services, reducing youth vaping, and repurposing underutilized state facilities. So again, you know, vaping is a big issue. It's tied to number three and the UN Sustainable development uh, goals, which means the rest of the world can understand what we're doing. We're talking about uh, underutilized facilities. We have Leahi and we have other facilities um, that are not fully utilized. And if we fully utilize them, repurpose them, we can get much better outcomes. So we did this with the eight goals that we're concentrating on. We also have some very good partners in this, you know, the, um, Hawaii Green Growth, the Aloha Plus Challenge. Um, this is a mouthful. Hawaii Green Growth Local 2030 UN Hub. So Hawaii is a United Nations hub for the uh, Oceania, uh, recently designated, and so we're working closely with them. And then our newest partner, the Hawaii Community Foundation, uh, because they have what's called the Change Program, and that's their program based on, again, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. So looking at it, we're dealing with the nonprofit world, the environmental world, and the for-profit world. World, um, to implement these goals for us in Hawaii. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very busy session and uh, lots going to get accomplished. And I know you encourage everyone to chime in and uh, let us know as uh, you're developing the final legislation. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Majority Leader. Uh, we're going to be back here every Wednesday, uh, every uh, Tuesday morning, live at 8.30 and replaying Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. live on Olelo, Akaku, and all the neighbor island so public access stations. People can get this at hawaiisenatemajority.org. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. I'm gonna be late for work. It's Tuesday morning. I gotta record live at the legislature on Alelo. Senate and House leadership discussing what's happening at the state capitol. So just watch it on the news tonight. Come on, let's go. Hey, this is like getting the news before it's news. If only I could get this remote to work. There. Can we go now? No DVR? No problem. Watch Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. on Channel 49.